Today's temperature is going to be 82 degrees. On Thursday and Friday, it will also be 82 degrees. On Monday, it will be 75. And on Tuesday, it will be 74 degrees. We are currently working with the high school to get the summer school course offerings. If you want to know you want to attend summer school, please plan for it to be from June 6th to July 14th. The actual sign-up forms will be available after the COH counselors come to ROMS to discuss 9th grade enrollment most likely in April. Registration is now open starting February 5th, 2002 for our Charter Oak Youth Basketball League. The flyer will be on the screen. The library will be closed February 9th. If you need a Chromebook, please go to the office. Hey, seventh grade owners, don't forget to turn your elective choice forms. Spaces fill up for certain elective classes like ASB, AVID, Broadcast Journalism, Drama, Band, ETC. So turn in your form ASAP at Runner Electives 22 to 23. Forms are due by next Wednesday, February 16th. On February 10th, we will be doing hearing and vision testing for 8th graders. Have your students wear their contacts or bring their glasses on the day of testing. If you do not wish to have your students to be tested, please send a note prior to the day. Let's make kindness the norm. As we all work to create a kinder world, we can start with ourselves and our own community. We invite you to celebrate Valentine's Day, February 14th, and Random Acts of Kindness Day, February 17th, by spreading kindness. Remember, there is no limit on the amount of goodness we can put into the world. Every ounce of kindness matters and can inspire others. So let's participate Random Acts of Kindness all week. Ready to participate in this kindness challenge? Here are our ideas to get started. Join the hashtag MakeKindnessTheNorm challenge and share your acts of kindness on social media. Practice kindness and self-compassion with these guided practices and exercises. Self-compassion practices, selfcompassion.org. Some of us are already taking steps to find professional help with our well-being, and perhaps you or a loved one should too. If you or a family member would like help finding a mental health care provider, use CareSolis, a complimentary and confidential coordination service provided by Charter Oak Unified School District. Call 888-515-0595. Support is available 24-7 in any language. Visit careslist.com and either search on your own or click book appointment for assistance by video, chat, email, or phone. Thank you. Book Club will meet at lunch in the library every Friday. Congratulations, Royal Oak, for being selected as the winner for the Best Govino Award to the category of middle school. With an out-of-this-world staff, students, and community, Royal Oak is the best middle school from here to outer space in our eyes. Come and see the ROMS production of Into the Woods Jr. February 24th, 25th, 26th at 7 p.m. and February 26th at 2 p.m. Tickets $15 and for ROMS students $12 with ID. Inspired by the book by James Lapine, grab tickets at romsdrama.weebly.com. It will be an incredible night of classic musical theater. The story folds a baker and his wife who wish to have a child. Cinderella, who wishes to attend the King's Festival. Little Red Riding Hood, who is off to visit Granny. And Jack, who wishes his cow would give milk. When the baker and his wife learn that they cannot have a child because of the witch's curse, the two set off on a journey to break the curse. Come watch your favorite fairy tale character adventure, Into the Woods! Happy National Counselors Week! We are so thankful for our counselors, Mr. Bauer and Mrs. Hines. Attention all 8th graders going to New York and Washington, D.C. in May. In order to travel on this trip, you must be fully vaccinated. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Anderson in room 804. Families, please make sure to check the calendar on our social media sites to keep up to date with what's happening. Need help with homework? Go to Homework Club at the library every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 2.50 to 3.50. Your book club meets in room 703 at lunch every Wednesday. Welcome back to another episode of Hanging with the Hendersons. Excuse the mess we've got going on here because today is National, National Pizza Day. Yes, finally. You want to know who invented pizza? I bet you're going to tell me. Of course. Uh, pizza was first invented in Naples, Italy as a fast, affordable, tasty meal for the working class Neapolitans on the go. While the rich people thought it was a poor people's food, they would come down when the sun would go down and buy pizzas and take it back up to their fancy mansions. While we all know and love the slices of pizza today, 
It really didn't gain mass appeal until the 1940s when it, uh, Italian immigrants brought their classic slices to the United States. Yes. Thank you, Italians. Did you know that Americans eat approximately 100 acres or 100 football fields of pizza every single day? Every day? That's 350 slices a second. I could do that, no problem. 36% 36, 36 of all pizza orders have pepperoni on top. Oh, course. that makes sense. Of course. Um, over 5 billion pizzas are sold across the whole world every year. And speaking of pepperoni, we eat about 251 million pounds of it a year on our pizzas. That's crazy. That's a lot of pepperoni. Uh, did you know that the most expensive pizza in the world is $12,000? 12, you know what was on it? What? Caviar. Ooh. Fish eggs. Ooh. No thanks. I'm good. Uh, taking us up to outer space. Did you know pizza has been there in 2001? The Russian space agency was paid more than a million bucks to deliver a six inch pizza to the International Space Station. Uh, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Yusachov had the honor of being the first person to receive a pizza in orbit. Bet you got there faster than Domino's delivers. Yeah, that's what it did. Right. Here's some facts about pizza around the world. Um, did you know that in that the Hawaiian pizza was not invented in Hawaii, but was actually invented in Canada. Eh? It, that's wrong <laughs> geographically. A little bit. In India, the most preferred pizza topping is tofu, if you know what that is. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, in Japan, some popular pizza toppings are squid. No! No, no! Sayonara to that. And something called mayo jaga. What? Which is mayonnaise. No! Potato. No! And bacon. Okay. On pizza. Uh, in Australia, their favorite topping is eggs. They do a different down under. No, I don't know. No. Maybe. <laughs> My favorite fact of the day, did you know that dough spinning, which we practice badly today, has its own professional level sporting event in Vegas every year? I don't know. You just might find the Hendersons dough flipping in Vegas next year. We're getting better. The average pizza slice in New York City usually matches the price of a subway ride. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, back up to outer space. NASA actually funded and tested a 3D printer that can print pizza for astronauts. I'm getting one of those. The average American eats more than 23 pounds of pizza per year. I've seen some of you do that out at lunch. Mm -hmm, me too. Uh, do you know the most popular night to eat pizza is a Saturday? Interesting. There's more than 34 million ways to create a pizza at Domino's. How'd you like to work there? Yeah, I don't want that job. Uh, Domino's also delivers over 1 million pizzas every day worldwide. Wow. 36% of Americans believe that pizza is a breakfast meal. It, face it, you've done it. You know, it's, pretty it, good. it's not bad. It's not bad. And finally, in 2013, Domino's actually made DVDs that smelled like pizza because we all need one of those in our life. Uh, thanks for watching this week, guys. Do you have anything to add? Yes. Uh, anything else? No. I guess we'll see you next week then. Go Rams. Quick reminder, the Bengals and the Rams play in Super Bowl 56. Last week, the Bengals beat the Chiefs and the Rams beat the... No, we, we don't, don't talk, talk about, about the, the Niners. Niners.